does it feel to get that kind of production from your offense? Yeah, it feels great. Um, you know, big message that we've had for our guys really all season is when we protect the ball, you know, we're hard to stop. And uh, I think that was, you know, one of the biggest things in this game is no turnovers. And, uh, you know, to see those long drives, I think we had two drives back to back over 90 yards. And, uh, you know, I thought that was excellent. Um, you know, really pleased with some of the guys that stepped in. Nick Schusler uh, being the leading uh, passer today. You know, that's the guy ready for his opportunity. Playing behind a great player like Deshaun Watson, you never know if you're going to get your opportunity. And uh, he was prepared. I thought he did a really good job coming in. And uh, then also, you know, uh, Jake Frew Morgan decided to hold him out. Um, he had some stuff going on with his shoulder and uh, just decided to see if we could hold him. We were able to hold him. And uh, really pleased Sean Pollard, Tremaine Ancrum, uh, being able to go in there at right tackle and really not miss a beat. Um, so I was, you know, very pleased uh, with the way that we played, obviously. But more than anything, I'm pleased uh, with the way that we were able to continue to move the ball uh, when that second group went in. There was no letdown. And uh, that was great for those guys to get some good experience to build off of. Deshaun's shoulder, could he have gone back in if he needed them? Yeah, uh, he was cleared uh, to go. And obviously, the score at halftime, we were in a position where we felt like we could hold him. Um, I know Coach Sweeney will talk more, but uh, we were told it's a shoulder bruise and that he's going to be fine. So that was definitely good relief. Without looking at the film yet, would you say that's your best offensive performance so far? Uh, you know, it's hard to, hard to gauge. Um, and I, I will say, you know, we. There, there was a lot of concern from the coaches going in. Uh, you know, Syracuse, they do a lot of things, and they played really well the last two weeks. Got a lot of respect for uh, Virginia Tech and to be able to see what they did with Virginia Tech at home. Um, you know, they had our full respect, and they do a lot of things defensively, a lot of angling. I think we need to give a lot of credit to the offensive line up front because this was probably the toughest week for them of any because of all the twisting and movement up front is uh, very hard to uh, be able to pick up. So those guys did a great job and allowed the skill guys to do their part. Speaking of the offensive line, you have to be pleased with uh, Pollard and Ankrum filling in for uh, yeah, the group. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, that was a, a, a big part. And, um, you know, those guys, obviously, we'll go back and watch the tape. I'm sure there'll be plenty of things for those guys to correct. But the biggest thing is you didn't notice them. For an offensive line, that's a good thing. With uh, Schuessler and Brian, the line has been you kind of player by year. At this point, has Schuessler proven himself to be the true guy if, some, if something happens to Deshaun as it does today or any possible future time? Yeah, I think uh, you know, he did a great job. I think it was the first time that Clemson's had two passers over 160 yards. So that was really good. You know, Nick's a senior, kind of been waiting his turn and uh, been preparing himself. And uh, he did a great job with the opportunities that he was given. And, uh, you know, and what we said is it kind of depends on the game, the situation, what we want to do. Uh, both of those guys have unique skill sets, uh, but Nick has definitely uh, been prepared every opportunity uh, whenever he's been needed. He runs it a little bit, but yeah. does, does he have command of just about everything that, that you would want him to do? Yeah, I mean, he, he's actually, uh, you know, he's, he's a slippery guy when he keeps the ball in his hands. Uh, just the kind of the way he runs, he's got good kind of tempo and timing. Uh, he was able to pull some balls down and, and run it. But, you know, very pleased. It's hard being a senior, being a guy that maybe hasn't had an opportunity to start and do all that. You start getting towards the end of your career, you're playing behind such a talented guy. You know, that's not easy to do. And we always tell those guys, hey, be ready. I mean, you never know. We could have been in this situation. Deshaun goes down and we need you to go win the game. And I felt like mentally and physically he was prepared to do that if we needed him to do that today. This was Dion's third game with two touchdowns and I think he, he probably should have had a third touchdown that they, they uh, decided he, he got his foot out of bounds but uh, you end up scoring anyway but uh, yeah, I think 125 yeah. yards first game in, in uh, the season over 100 yards is, is this the best you've seen him play? Yeah I think um, he did a lot of really good things um, he had some big conversions um, you know just watching it from the sideline I would say so I mean but he's he's been a guy I mean, he's a powerful you know nice weapon coming off the sideline him and Mike uh, being able to roll over there I mean they're very talented guys. Both of those guys, I think, uh, ended up over 100 yards. And uh, you know, I've been really pleased with Dion, the progress that he's making. He's practicing a lot better, and uh, he's definitely does well on game day. So hopefully, that'll continue here down the stretch. Yeah, he obviously had a very odd off season because of, of what was going on off the field. Did it take him a little while to kind of get his, you know, back his footing the way you wanted to see it? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously not being in spring practice, so, I mean, that definitely probably held him back a little bit. You know, even though he was able to stand back on the sidelines and really learn a lot more uh, a lot offensively, but physically he didn't get that, those opportunities. But yeah, I feel like he's been coming and um, he got off maybe to a little bit of a slow start, but I think he's at one point was leading us in touchdowns from the wideout group. And um, you know, that's really what we're challenging those guys is we don't want to let
sat down for the first group, the second group. And uh, really, I feel like you know, that's where we are right now. He's such a weapon.